Genesis 3 and 14 And the Lord God said unto the serpent, And I'll put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. This scripture shows that Satan has children here on earth. He has offspring. Satan is known as the serpent, the dragon, and the devil. Revelations 12 and 9 So who started the serpent's seed line? Who was the serpent's son? Cain, perhaps? Keep an open mind while we look at the possibilities. Genesis 4 and 1 And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord, and she again bare his brother Abel. She conceived two seeds. Cain and Abel were twins. Read again. She conceived and bare Cain, and she again bare his brother Abel. Genesis 5 and 1 This is the book of the generation of Adam, in the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. If Cain was Adam's son, he should be listed in a few moments, right? And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years, and begot a son, and in his own likeness and after his own image, and called his name Seth. It continues from there, and Cain is nowhere in sight. It is no surprise Cain is not listed. Let's make no excuses whether he was wicked or not. A son is a son. Nowhere in the Bible was a son not listed in genealogy because he was evil. This is no different. But is it possible for a woman to conceive twins by two different fathers? Yes, it's called this big word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, fertile twins were formed when two separate eggs are fertilized by two sperms. If a woman has contact with two different partners within her fertile time period and has multiple ovulation, it is possible for her to have fertile twins with two different fathers. This is an example of two twins by two different fathers and this is another example. In the news, a Corishian woman who slept with two men at the same time has given birth to twins with two different fathers. The 23-year-old student has been named MB gave birth to non-identical twins seven months ago. However, she revealed that the DNA testing has shown that the children have different fathers. She told Daily, um, I was shocked at getting pregnant and I even was more shocked when the doctors told me that my sons had different fathers. Three HS cases were found in a parentage test database of 39,000 records. The frequency of HS among twins whose parents were involved. Who should warn us about reptilians or nephiliums? Matthews 13 and 38. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. Matthews 3 and 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming into the baptism, he said unto them, O generations of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? John 8 and 44 Ye are your fathers the devil, and the lust of your fathers ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Was he referring to Cain, perhaps? Genesis 4 and 8 And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Matthew 12 and 34, O generations of vipers, how can ye be in evil? Speak good things, for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Shapeshifter or bloodline, I can't say, but he continues to call them vipers and serpents. Matthew 23 and 33, ye serpents, ye generations of vipers, how can ye escape the damnations of hell? Look at these shapeshifters. To this day, the dragon or the serpent signifies divine heritage and royalty in many Asian countries. While in the West, the serpent represents wisdom and knowledge. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, Daniels 2 and 43. Was Yahushua trying to warn us? Matthews 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the, also the coming of the Son of Man be. Genesis 6, the Nephilims were on the earth in those days and also afterward. I would like to go deeper into this concerning strange events of Noah's times. 
What could be more stranger than Ophelium's or giants, half man, half beast, and so called mythical creatures? Isaiah 34 and 14, the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island, and the satyr shall cry to his fellow. The screech owl Lilith also shall rest there and find herself a place of rest. Later translations for Lilith. Second Samuel 23 and 20, and Benoniah son of Jehodiah, son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many mighty acts, slew two lion-like men of Moab. And the book of Jashar is mentioned in the Bible. You can read it in Joshua 10 and 13. And you can also read it in 2 Samuel 1 and 18. And it wasn't included in the canon because it wasn't believed to be inspired. Yet the Bible quotes it as well as many other rejected books. Could this be the reason? And the sons of men in the, those days took from the cattle of the earth, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the air, and taught the mixture of animals of one species with another in order to provoke the Lord. And God saw the whole earth, and it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupt its ways upon the earth, all men and, and all animals. Is history repeating itself as prophesied? But as the days of Noah were, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Jashar 36 and 30. 120 terrible animals from the wilderness came to the asses of Anon. Their shape was from the middle downward of the children of men, and from the middle upward some to the likeness of bears. And it was one day that Zepho lost a young heifer, and he went to seek it. And he heard it lowering around about the mountain. And Zepho went, and he saw, and behold, there was a large cave at the bottom of the mountain. And there was a great stone there at the entrance of the cave. And Zepho split the stone, and he went to the cave, and he looked, and behold, a large animal devouring an ox. And from the middle upward it resembled a man, and from the middle downward it resembled an animal. And Zepho rose up against the animal and slew it with his sword. Sherry Shiner, today's society is doomed to repeat the errors of the ancient ancestors by once again falling prey to the watchers' sorceries and claim of divinity. Already far too many are under the sway of UFO cults and spirit guides. Here to help humanity. Was half human, half animal a thing of the past? Will it be the future? Research mixing human and animal egg and sperm has garnered considerable ethical concern and been banned in several countries. The banning was started in part by fears that scientists will create animals with human genes or other ethically questionable organisms, in part by the concerns that mixing animal and human materials diminishes the sanity of human life. For example, in the United Kingdom, proposals to use an animal egg for human cloning sparked outcry from an overzealous media poured in half-human creatures. While sailing the ocean near Haiti, Christopher Columbus in 1493 reported seeing three mermaids from a distance. He wasn't impressed. Up close, the sea maidens were not as pretty as they were depicted. He wrote in his journal, for somehow in their face they looked like men. In 1403, it was said that mermaids was found. Be calmed in shallow water at Edam in Holland. She became accustomed to life, but never learned how to speak. She lived for some 15 years after she was captured and was given a Christian burial.